Hey Familios! Welcome back to my channel. Once again, it's Joyce Yo, your master mindset. If you are new here, I want you to know that in this channel, I do business and investment opportunities videos. <laughs> so if you think that you're in the right channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so I can keep you updated every time I post another video. And I would also like to invite you in my new channel yan, where I created some family vlogs and more about me, um, kung paano ko ginagawa yung everyday and being an entrepreneur and also being a mom on how I balance both. So yeah, I will really appreciate if you can subscribe also in the channel ayan, para mas makilala nyo po kami. Me familios better. Yan. So yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. So in this video, I will give you practical tips on how you can raise capital if you want to start a business. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So if you have been following me for a while now, you will know that I have been sharing a lot of ways on how you can start a business or what business you can venture in lalo na ngayon that we are in this crisis so now we really have to you know look for ways on how we can earn income and one of the biggest problem or always the problem that hinders us from um, having a business or for starting a business is not having a uh, capital okay not having a capital for their business so Yan, in this video, sasagutin natin yan, how you can do that. But before anything else, ayan, I would like to thank all of you for being part of this channel because we're almost 60,000 na in the family and I'm really, really thankful to a of you. Siyempre, hindi ko to makakamit without all of you guys. And, well, I'm so blessed and Sobrang thankful talaga na hindi ko akalain na you will accept me for for <laughs> for what I do and yeah I always want to share um different um business and investment opportunities videos to you guys kasi I know that we all need this right now and yeah I I also believe na <laughs> Na, we all have to be resourceful at all times kahit pa walang pandemic okay especially to us moms that we are always looking for alam mo yon sense of belongingness how we can help our family how we can help our husband or to help in the finances as well but at the same time juggling between being a mom and an entrepreneur all right so yeah. okay so number one yeah and i will also share some experiences on this one okay so number one you you have to raise the capital for yourself or um, save up for that one okay so if you have um, a source of income right now what you can do is to save up a portion of it like kunwari 20% na mapupunta yon to save para maipang negosyo mo or what you can do if you have you know, skills expertise you can do sideline jobs okay sideline jobs para makakuha ka ng, ng savings para makapag save up ka makakuha ka ng enough enough capital to to for you to do the to the for you to do the business. So, ano ba yung mga pwede natin gawin? You can be a social media manager. Also, do virtual assistance, freelance job. Yan, maming mga sites na, na nag-offer ng freelancing job or mawa ng mga logos. You can also sell your logos or mga thumbnails. Um, as recently nga lang, ang dami sunod-sunod yung malapit sa akin na um, they're asking me if I have someone na nagtatranscribe na or nag naglalagay ng subtitles sa videos ko. Hanga ako sa kanila kasi they know how to sell themselves. Okay? Alam nila kung ma paano nila ibebenta yung sarili nila, yung expertise nila. Okay? So, a lot of them kasi is minsan may mga bata pa na gusto nilang like 17 years old, gusto nilang magkaroon ng, ng side income para, alam mo yun, matustusan nila yung 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 gastusan nila sa pag-aaral kasi kailangan nila bumili ng laptop. Alam mo, minsan nga, na ano, hoy, nalulungkot ako pag di ko sila kayang, hindi, syempre, di ko naman kaya silang i-hire lahat, diba? That's a very good um, starting point for you guys na alam nyo kung paano i-sell yung self nyo. Okay? Yan. So, that's one way how you can raise capital galing sa sarili mong income. But, do not 
Ito lang, huwag niyong gamitin lahat ng savings niyo ha para sa business kasi syempre it's um, it's a risk, 'di ba? So kailangan alam natin kung up to what point lang yung pwedeng mong gamitin kasi you still have to save money for yourself, for your future, 'di ba? In case may mangyari na ganitong pandemic nga na nangyari, 'di ba? Kailangan mayroon tayong um, a certain Uh, cash on hand na pwede natin gamitin na makover up yung expenses natin for how many months okay na kailangan natin kasi hindi natin alam di ba maraming nawalan ng trabaho ayan so yun um just it, this this is the time for you to discover yourself skills expertise and sell yourself and build your personal brand it's um effort but it is worth it so number two what you can do is to be an industrial partner what do you mean by industrial partner so gagamitin mo din um basically your expertise kunwari sa isang restaurant may gustong magtayo ng restaurant eh chef ka okay magaling ka magluto. So, you can, yun yung magiging kapital mo para makasali ka sa kumpanya niya. Okay? Sa kumpanya nyo. So, you will be um, sharing your expertise, di ba? I know someone naman, magaling siyang gumawa ng mga apps. So, siya yung gumawa ng, ng delivery app nila. So, He is an industrial partner, wala siyang nilabas na pera, so humanap lang siya ng investors, mag invest doon sa kanyang um, delivery of services. Okay? So yeah, you can do that, your expertise. Kaya, kaya nga sinasabi ko, skills, kailangan pagyamanin natin to, di ba? Kasi this is something that they cannot take away from you, kahit pa anong mangyari dyan, kasi um, ikaw yan eh. Diba? Kahit mabangkrap ka, kapag may skills ka, you can always start from there. I am so proud sa lahat ng mga kabataan natin ngayon na they are doing a lot of ways on how they can improve their their skills. Diba? So number three, what you can do also is to resell someone's product. Okay? So I have tried that also before. Ang sinasabi ko ngayon is wala kang ilalabas na pera. Kunwari, friend mo nagbabenta ng... Um, ng cake ngayon or kahit ano food. So, ipopost mo siya sa ano mo, sa sa FB mo, sa marketplace, ganyan. So, ngayon, pag may bumili sa'yo, since friend mo naman siya or kilala mo naman siya, o yun, ang gagawin mo, wala kang nilabas na pera. So, nagbayad na sa'yo yung buyer, di ba? So, ang gagawin mo, ipapadala mo na yung product sa buyer coming from doon sa friend mo na nag, nagbebenta ng product na yun. So, this one is more of parang drop shipping okay so may patong ka na sa product na binigay niya so this is more about communication between um, the supplier and you as a middleman tapos uh, yun nga pwede niya ipadala yung produkto niya na walang label or label mo yan pwede ka magpadala ng sticker mo kung gusto mong gawing brand mo yun diba D depende sa pag-uusap nyo so it's reselling one's product so wala kang nilabas na pera and then nag profit ka doon And hindi rin ikaw nag-effort, di ba? Nag-effort is yung friend mo na nagbebenta. But still, um, you are selling her product. So, win-win situation. What you can also do is, kunwari, uh, may alam kang mga, like yung ginagawa ko nung lumilipad ako before, sa US, ginagawa ko, nagpipicture ako ng mga products na nakukuha ko sa bang bansa. Or dito local, pwede sa mga divisoria, yan yung mga pictures sa mga pwede mong ibenta. So, picturean mo siya and then mag pre ka, okay? So, sabi mo na, okay, yung mga gustong umorder, cut off hanggang Wednesday and delivery is next Wednesday. So, kailangan na nilang magbayad. Remember, hindi to sales hanggat hindi sila nagbabayad. So, kailangan nilang bilhin sa iyo yung product, magbayad sila. And that's the time na yun yung gagamitin mo pang bilhin ng product na pinos mo. Okay? Gets? <laughs> so, yun yung mangyayari. Parang nag -re ka. So, yeah, that's one way of selling without... Um, ano yon naglalabas ng kapital and also i have one vlog sinasabi ko nga number sige number 4 na lang to um you can do also reselling of your pre-love clothes or selling other people's things okay so doon wala kang nilabas na kapital kasi mga pre-love clothes nga din yan from from your from someone na gusto magpabenta ang lalabas mo lang dito is effort mo on how to sell it so you can do 40 40 or 50 50 cut sa sales okay so number five, what you can also do is to yan makipag deal ka 
Yan, close the deal and ask for deposit. Okay, deposit payment. So, here, kunwari, wala kang kapital, pag binayaran ka na niya ng 50% down, so that's the time, yun yung pangbibili mo ng product na ibebenta mo. Or like, for example, when we were doing the shirt printing, ayan, uh, nung time na yun, we don't have the, the t-shirt printing machine yet. Okay? So, ngayon, we found um, a market or we found a... Uh, ano to, a client na pwede namin ofera ng services namin. So, fast forward to that, na-close namin yung deal, nag-down sila ng 50%, that's the time na dun kami bumili ng mga gagamitin namin for printing. And to think that yung 50% na yun, that is for the, to cover all the cost na gagawin mo for the business. So, yung another 50% na ibabayad nila sa'yo, yung when the time comes na magbabayad na sila, kita mo na yon Diba? <laughs> Ang galeng Okay? So, yeah, that's that's what you can do. You ask for deposit and that deposit will be the one to work for you as a capital. Okay? So, yeah, you can find a lot of things na pwede mong, ano, you, just be smart in looking for ways. Okay? So, this is the last one. Number six, you can be a middleman here. Okay? Para kang magpapatong lang ng percentage. When you do that, ganito, it's, it's like Um, para kang nasa real estate, parang may binenta ka, kunwari, nagbenta ka ng, ng sasakyan or ng kondo, ba diba? So, um, it, it's between you and the seller na eh, and the seller, ba diba? So, pag-uusapan nyo how, how much is the percentage na kaya nyo ibigay, mas okay na, na alam niya, ba diba? Para in case humingi ng resibo tong si, si buyer, ba diba? Masasama niya sa resibo yung kinita mo doon. Okay? So, you will be a middleman. So, ikaw, gagamitin mo lang yung selling skills mo. Ikaw hahanap ng, ng bibili ng product na yon, And then, may percentage ka. So, that's how you do it. Maraming mga salesman ang talagang wag nating anuhin lang yung salesman dahil talagang they are earning a lot from, from this one. Basta may skills ka on selling. Kasi, what they can do also, alam mo nyo yun, kung iisipin mo ha, um, kunwari, sa isang project mo, makakuha ka ng 50,000 pesos, ba? Diba? Kung hahatiin mo yon sa, sa, kunwari, kinikita mo lang talaga is 10,000 a month. Kung nakakita ka sa isang project na 50,000, parang 5 months ka na na may kita monthly, ba? Diba? Na isang beses mo lang talaga tin ginawa. Okay? Nagets mo ba? Parang hindi ko nagets. <laughs> I mean, yun. Yun, that's, that's how the seller, ano eh, the seller, the salesman process goes eh. ba? Diba? As in, close lang ng close ng sales. ba? Diba? That's the selling skills. <laughs> so, yeah. That's all about it, guys. Ayan. I am so um, proud na a lot of you have and daming nagme-message sa akin na they started doing businesses and maraming na inspire with what I vlog so that's my inspiration guys thank you for motivating me every day to do vlogs for you okay and Yeah, um, you can share this to your friends and to your family na gustong magnegosyo na hindi alam yung gagawin, kung paano mag-start since walang capital. So, yeah, marami tayong matututunan sa channel na to. So, just stay with me, guys. <laughs> and the road to 100K. Charot! <laughs> Thank you guys. Follow me on my another channel. Subscribe on the channel, my new Me Familios channel, okay? So, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye!